Hello and welcome to Art Attack, where my scrapbook is bursting with mini makes. Coming up, a great cartoon tip. But first, this. I get loads of pictures sent to me every day, and just like this one, they all go in my scrapbook. And you know what? They give me some fab ideas. <laughs> I think caricatures are hilarious, especially when you exaggerate people's features. You know, I've noticed that some artists in comics, or in cartoons even, exaggerate animals' features to look like humans. Look at this lot. See this? Some are standing up on two legs, others have got clothes on. So, OK, what about doing it the other way round? Make humans look like animals. Well, there's a good game. Cut out some pictures of different dogs from magazines, then cut around them and stick them down like this one. Then draw a cartoon caricature of the dog's owner. Now, it's often said that dogs look like their owners, so, OK, let's make them look really silly. Let's make the owners look like the dogs. So, with Pixie the Poodle here, she's got that very sort of fuzzy hair, so let's give the owner a real frizzy perm. Like that. And then this little sticky up nose, it's almost a snooty nose, isn't it? So we put the nose in the air like that. Not much chin, so she's a bit of a chinless wonder. So no chin in there. And these sort of dark eyes, let's give her some eye makeup like that. She's already looking like the dog, isn't she? Look at that. Don't forget the jewellery here around the dog's neck. So give her some beads, I think. And what about this fantastic sort of curly coat? Let's give her a little sort of woolly pullover. Here, very posh. You can almost hear a voice now, can't you? There she is. Don't forget a hand in there. She really does look like the dog. <laughs> and then put a skirt on her. And no, I'm not going to give her hairy legs. I think that would be going too far, wouldn't it? So just put her feet in and her shoes like that. And don't forget, last but not least, the lead. And there she is. Pixie the Poodle's owner, Miss Fufu. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Here we go. This is Winston the Bulldog. Now, what does his owner look like? OK, he must have a fat head, so a nice big fat head there. And what about this jowly mouth? So a nice big jowly mouth there, like that. And look at these little teeth sticking out at the sides. I think I'll put those in. And a nice big fat blobby nose. So that goes in there with some big nostrils in and again just looking at the dog's features look at these little sort of pixie eyes in there and there's lots of lines under the eyes so i'll just copy those Put the lines under there and what else can we look for these little stubby ears let's put those in there like that so continue that down there and make him look slightly frowning and some hair in there and he is after all very tubby so there's his arm like that, and there's his other arm coming round there, like that, and let's make him very tubby, big tummy on him, like that, his belly hanging over his trousers, uh, like that, and there he is. <laughs> Winston the Bulldog and his owner, Mr Bumble. <laughs> oh, here we go, here's Shaggy the Dog. So what does Shaggy's owner look like? Well, let's give her shaggy hair to start with, long and droopy. And I think Shaggy's owner would be called Penelope. Don't ask me why, it just feels right. And you know what I say on Art Attack, if it feels right, draw it. So there it is, long droopy face and shaggy coat for a shaggy hippie chick, I think. Look at this, long shaggy clothes here. And don't forget the flares, very shaggy. And one out there like that. And what about her face? Well, very droopy snout, the dog that is. So let's give her a long nose. And she's got sort of these droopy eyes and a very wide mouth. And there it is, Shaggy the dog and her owner, Penelope. <laughs> Great fun to do. Make humans look just like their dogs. Try it yourself.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that flick through my mini-make scrapbook. Try them yourself, and I'll see you very soon. Ta-ra!